All right, ladies and gentlemen, and off the basically all I'm playing is Fang Acro Defense because people are pushing me, and Fang Acro Defense has the highest win rate in Acro Defense of all my builds. Kind of serious right now. Uh, this is the best for last. Uh, let me uh, put myself as the blue player here. Uh, we are playing against Mr. Ezel here, who is Quick Supply Specialist, has Steel Balls, Fangs and Arc Lights. And none of these units in the end are good into Fang Carry Aggro Defense. We have Storm Crawlers here, some Fangs in the middle, and what are we gonna buy? We buy some Crawlers, that makes sense. My opponent is going for a balanced kind of aggro. He has... Uh, Fangs here that are in a horizontal formation against mine in a vertical formation. Normally I think they would win that. Practically the Stormcrawlers eradicate them. And then the second salvo immediately goes onto these steel balls and does some good amount of damage. More Fangs here ensure that there is some, still something these steel balls have to stop and shoot. Is this steel ball? No, it's not gonna get the tower. Is this steel ball gonna get the tower? It looks like, yeah, the missiles aren't fast enough in order to prevent that. So it seems that right now I still got pushed and my opponent is taking round number one home. Round number two. We have improved sandworm and an elite tarantula, haste module or mass produced overlord. I choose haste. I am, by the way, giant specialist. And my opponent is quick supply specialist. Makes sense. Fang uh, with uh, haste module here. More crawlers and more fangs. And that's already all my money done for the second round. My opponent has decided to go for some flanking arc lights. He has no defense against these crawlers. Let's speed this one along. He is also sitting on a haste module. For the moment at least. Get some additional steel balls. Now you might ask why these fangs with haste. Uh, I think I just wanted these fangs to get rid of these middle fangs as quickly as possible. Simply because uh, then the Stormcrawlers can shoot with their second salvo right onto the Steel Balls. And that is some juicy, juicy targets here. Arc Lights right now absolutely demolishing my army here. Uh, tower timing in my favor here, I want to say. If I can, yeah, I can intercept all of these Steel Balls. But can I intercept the rest? The steel ball has lasted for longer than I would like, and now my opponent gets all the towers he needs to finish my army. And then there is... we don't need to look at this massacre. There is one brave crawler. One brave crawler. Look at it. Um, that is not the correct camera. How do I POV a unit? I don't know. Anyway, that was not the winning crawler. Unit drops. Fortress, Wraith, Vulcan Overlord. I go with the Wraith, and my opponent sells the boat, so there really isn't much that opposes me. And I do have a range on the Fangs. Now it's time for these bad boys to start scaling, hopefully. They haven't gotten a lot of experience now, but I'm making my towers pretty secure, and now they do outrange these Arc Lights. They don't have, uh, they don't have armor. A shield here. I'm not even sure why or what this is for. Maybe he's expecting me to missile. That could legitimately be it. But I think in that case I would have liked an anti-missile device more. Simply because an anti-missile device does actually like uh, block some of these Stormcaller shots. After the missile that I may put here, the sentry missile, has already gotten destroyed. It's unfortunate that he bought phoenixes here. I'm not even sure what he bought Phoenixes against, but maybe he smelled the Wraith. Because there really isn't many units here that are good against the Wraith. To be precise, there is no unit here that is good against the Wraith on my opponent's side. These Fangs just killed a level 2 Arc Light, which means that they get a good amount of experience. Unfortunately, my Overlord does not survive. However, also my opponent's army does not survive. Unfortunately, I don't get the shield, but on it just didn't matter. That shield is of no consequence effectively. Now I am smart enough to know that you can't continue running waves into phoenixes usually. He gets efficient tech research as do I. 
and he puts armor on the steel balls. So my game plan at this point kinda is have my opponent commit into steel balls and then throw the hackers at him. For this round of course I don't know that this is coming. My opponent does buy replicate for literally a single crawler. I have the second tech on the fangs. Uh, we do see some levels coming down and some uh, more fangs on the board. I would basically say that this tower is somewhat push safe-ish. Unfortunately I do put more fangs in the way of the replicate. So this replicate is actually finding a good amount of value. Armor on the steel balls is helping but not against the level 2 storm callers. They are still wrecking these units. And the fangs do kill more leveled units as well and get assists on the steel balls level 2. Well, these steel balls are simply getting torn apart by all of the missiles. And the tower does fall. These are mostly, I guess, replicated crawlers. Well, maybe not. They have the tech, so they are probably my opponent's crawlers, at least a lot of them. But you can see the gunning down operation is kinda getting through the armor, even if only ever so slightly. I do manage to win this round, but I bet my opponent was pretty sure he'd win with steel balls. We do see wasps. Wasp with EMP might actually not be a bad play. Marksman also can take care of this. I do decide to take the wasps and I should definitely sell out of this chaff here. I'm not gonna get a level, well maybe I will get a level on this crawler soon-ish. But I don't think these fangs and these crawlers can beat the replicate crawlers here. Only if I put more tech on them. I do decide to sell out of this. Technically I could have waited until I've gotten a level on that. On this pack of crawlers which they should have gotten in the next round I wager. And then level them to level 2. But my opponent can draw even so it's not worth it. Right now I think my brain hadn't really recognized this armor as a threat. As the threat it was, I just decided to drop Elite Fangs, because why not? I could technically throw EMP here. Not really much else that I can effectively get. I decide to take Temp Range, that makes sense. Temp Range is pretty important in fights like this. He did also level these crawlers, so all my strategy planning on that front was completely wasted. I don't particularly like these wasps for my opponent though. They aren't really doing much for him, I wager. Still, the steel boys in the middle are making this a pretty terrible loss for me, I wager. Because uh, I simply don't have the anti-armor crawlers push in. He's gotten more crawlers and this one is a landslide. Alright, I need to go for the armor. Hackers are the natural choice. I think they should also be the working choice. But the game isn't fun when you only go for the best place ever in a standard... Uh, versus standard definitely not I guess in this game mode it can be but I think it's just fun to punch through the armor with a lot of damage so these steel balls they absorb 120 damage these fangs do 333 now we do have the advanced offensive tactics we do have one level on the tower and we do have the haste module here these fangs can absolutely punch through that steel ball armor although the steel balls still have a lot of health still I do go for some Rhinos, because in the last match against Sarah Chesh, if you haven't watched that, I uh, suggest you also watch it, because I think it was a pretty good game. Uh, I found out that actually going for Rhinos isn't bad, like usually you kind of don't really want to have explosive Rhinos. All they will do is run into your own, or rather will kill your own chaff, but these fangs are kind of just staying put. And when they're staying put, they don't do anything. Notice that I haven't sold anything and I still have something to sell out of. Guess what I'm forgetting. And not just for this round. I could have sold that. Could have gotten extra health to get more damage on these rhinos. Unfortunately the steel balls don't aggro on them actually. They aggro on these crawlers but you can see the, uh, these fangs. But you can see the fangs are definitely getting through the armor now. Similar things are happening here. This is now 170 damage, though it is also up against 180 armor. This is still not looking all that great for me. Hackers are still the correct choice here, I think. I was hoping to explode more with the uh, rhinos, but unfortunately that has not happened here. 
Still, there isn't much left for my opponent after all of this, at least not compared to the last round, so you can definitely see the impact of the extra damage on Fangs.